Hello, my loves. So, I got a whole bag of product empties today. <laughs> this is my first product empties bag, and uh, we got a lot to talk about. So, let's get to talking about it. <laughs> All right, guys. So, what do we have first? We have the Shiseido, Shiseido um, Benefit Wrinkle Resistant Express, Express Smoothing Eye Mask. Um, this came with three eye patches, so essentially three uses. That's all right. Um, I have to say, when I ordered this, I, I think I mentioned it in a haul, and I said I hadn't met an eye mask that I didn't love. But I can't say that this one really gave me the moisture that most of them do. So will I repurchase? Probably not. <laughs> but uh, I do love an eye mask. This helps me start my day. Okay, I have, yeah, there's so much stuff in here. The Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm Sheet Mask. I think this was like two or three dollars. I was traveling for work and I stopped into like um, a Rite Aid and I was like, hmm, let me try that because I was tired. I thought it would rejuvenate my skin. Um, it's super hydrating, anti fatigue. So that caught my eye. Would I repurchase? No, it really just, it didn't, I, I didn't notice any change whatsoever. All right, next, skin purifying, the Tony Moly masks. They are really good and they're pretty inexpensive. This was the I'm Real Green Tea mask. I really enjoyed it. And when I took it off, my skin did feel much softer. So would I repurchase? Yeah, I probably would. Put that over here with the repurchase. Okay. Equate Sensitive Skin um, Cleansing Facial Wipe. Sensitive skin, I think, I think they're misleading with that. <laughs> they're very rough on my face. And when I use them around my eyes, they made my eyes burn and they watered and no, I will not be repurchasing those. We had our Sephora hair mask. I had two of these. Um, I'll see the other one in here. I bought this one and the coconut oil one. This one was really good and there was enough product for two uses and it smelled really good and then when i woke up the next day and washed my hair my hair was very very soft so i think these were five dollars but this one was enough for two uses the other one i just don't think was potent enough so i only got one use out of it so two dollars and fifty cents a use i will definitely be repurchasing that one one two, three. <laughs> Hold on. Ah! I love these. In case you couldn't tell, will I repurchase? I already have. I do not take a bath without putting in some of my Dr. Till's Pink Himalayan Foaming Bath. This one is supposed to restore and replenish. It has pink Himalayan salt. Um, it doesn't give you like a lot of bubbles. So if you're looking for just a tub full of bubbles, you're not going to get that with this. But I just love the way it smells. <laughs> and it softens the water and it just makes me feel, I don't know, like I'm at the spa, like I'm, I'm it, it, it's more about the mind, I think, than it is about the quality of the product. But I do not take a bath without this. And it's the Restore and Replenish. I don't like the others, but I just like the smell. I like the way it makes the bathroom smell. I love the way it softens the water. Um, this is my jam, in case you couldn't tell by three empty bottles. <laughs> so will I repurchase? Again and again and again. 
that again. <laughs> I used to get these at Ulta, but I, I can't find them in my Ulta anymore, but Walmart does carry them, so yay for that. Um, Y'all, I talked about this on my Ulta haul video. Hold on. One. Two. Three. <laughs> Uh, I think that's it for the body butters. These are my go-tos. Um, I have two of the Moroccan Rose and one of the Lychee and Plum. I'm telling you, seven days a week, I either smell like a Moroccan Rose or a Lychee and Plum. I love these. Um, they're my favorite two scents ever. Um, it depends on my mood which one I, oh my god that just smells so good which one i like better um i think moroccan rose is probably my favorite um but seven days a week i'm smelling like one of these two i love all tree hut products like i have a ton of tree hut products a couple of new ones will make it into my september favorites video but i just i use the scrub i use the matching body butter I'm the type of person that I am moisture obsessed. Like I just, some people are like, oh, I don't like it to feel greasy. Grease me down, baby. <laughs> like when I get out of the bathtub, I load my body down with this from my feet to my neck. And then I'll put on um, thick pajamas, socks, a tank top, and this huge, y'all have seen my robe that I wear all the time. And I just let that moisture soak in. It makes my skin so soft. My skin smells so good. Oh, I love these. Will I repurchase? I have a whole closet stocked. Every time I go to Walmart, uh, when I place an order in Ulta, I just throw a couple in my shopping cart. And, like, I will not run out of these. These are my jam. All right, let's move those over to the side. And then let's get into to the matching scrubs. One, two, three. Um, I have two of the Moroccan Rose, just like I had two of the Moroccan Rose body butters, and uh, one of the lychee and plum. Um, I only wash my hair twice a week, which means I only shower twice a week. So five days a week, I take a bath. So here's my routine. Five days a week, I pour this in my bathtub. I wash my body down with a Shea Moisture soap. It's the only soap I use. And then I am scrubbing my whole body, my whole body, <laughs> with a sugar scrub um, because I want my skin to be soft. I am a well groomed girl and I like my skin soft. I don't want any dead skin on my body. So I scrub it down and then I body butter it up. So will I repurchase? It's just like the body butters. I got a bathroom closet full. All right, so let's get those out of the way. I got a lot of stuff in here and I'm already at eight minutes. Um, let's talk about this for a minute. This is the Soul Je Janeiro um, Brazilian Boom Boom. It looks like Bum Bum, it's Boom Boom Cream. This little jar of cream was twenty dollars. If you watch face or if you watch YouTube as much as I do, you've seen so many YouTubers talking about how this is like gold in a jar. Twenty dollars for this little jar. So let's chat about it. It does smell good. It smells like I should be laying on a beach or by a pool somewhere. It smells like tanning oil. Um, I will not repurchase this. Like, I'm, I'm, YouTube made me do it. I bought into the hype and it does smell good, but for $20, I can go buy three beachy scents at Bath and Body Works. You know what I'm saying? Or Tree Hut makes like a Brazilian nut scent. Um, what made me fall to into the hype was. It's supposed to tighten and smooth your body. It claims helps tighten and smooth like no other. So I would have repurchased if I felt like that claim 
was true. But it's just like every other body matter. It didn't tighten shit. <laughs> it didn't tighten anything. And it smells good. It doesn't smell like $20 worth. No, I will not repurchase. Don't fall for the hype. Or go to Sephora, get you a little sample of it. And then, you know, if you're obsessed, have at it. Okay. The Glam Glow Bubble Mask. If you watch my videos, you know I will not repurchase. This is a deep, deep, deep cleanser. It stripped my face of oils. I was irritated for days. I'm sure some people love it. Not me. Um, here we have a little bottle of this Sleeping Night Oil by Sunday Riley. This was just a travel size bottle, of course. Um, but I've used this for about a year. Yes, I will repurchase. I already have a full bottle on my vanity. I will repurchase this over and over and over and over. I use it on my skin at night. And then before I put my makeup on, I put it under my eyes. It's a beautiful oil. I love it. We got some eyelashes. <laughs> last one I'm not even wearing I think this is the fifth first video I've done without eyelashes but if this is why I wear eyelashes my eyelashes are very sad looking with just mascara um so which ones were my favorite these are Dell studio effects um the Demi wispies they had they're like a layered lash i didn't care for these these i know my lashes look like false lashes because no one has these amazing lashes right so i know they look fake but i don't like them to look this fake this no so these were a no-go um as you can tell by two packs, these are my favorites. These are the Ilure number 117. These are wispy. They make my lashes look long. They make them look full, but they don't look overly fake. Like I don't walk around looking like I got, you know, like my eyelashes are waving at you. So Ilure number 117, they're my go-to. They're my favorites. I've already got another box in my vanity. Um. These were the Ilure number 115 for lengthening. I did like these. I probably would repurchase these again. Ardell Whispers or Wispies. These are another go-to. I tend to, I must go for Wispy. If it says Wispy, I'm on it. But these were really good. I will repurchase these. I loved these Ardell Faux Mink 811s. These were beautiful they were stunning and every time i've been to ulta since they don't have these now they have the faux mink but not the 811s but these were beautiful i loved them um it cosmetics bye bye pores powder so let's chat about this powder because me and this powder we fought a lot um, we really had a love-hate relationship through the usage. <laughs> so when I first purchased this, it's probably been nine months ago, I, I couldn't get to Sephora and I was out of my setting powder. So I went to Ulta and this was before Ulta started carrying NARS, before they started carrying MAC, before um, Too Faced came out with their setting powder. At that time, Ulta really didn't have a lot of setting powders. So this was the only one that Ulta carried at that time. Life has changed for Ulta now. <laughs> but um, so I purchased it. Um, the first time I used it, I used it, of course, to bake under my eyes. It made under my eyes look like way too dry. But I was in awe because it made my face look porcelain perfect. Like it really does fill in your pores. 
So I loved it for that reason, but I was like, well, I can't use it to bake. So I went to my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills contour powder palette because she has the banana in there. So I started baking with that or, you know, setting with that one. But then I noticed it made my skin very pale and it took a couple of usage for me to really catch a glimpse of myself in the mirror and go, that really lightens my face. So it's supposed to be translucent, but it lightens your face. So I put it in the drawer. I didn't use it for months and months and months and months and months. And I do this trick with setting powder. Um, I watched this one YouTuber, Wayne Goss, and he told me like, he, like a year and a half ago, I watched his video. You very, 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 very lightly dust your face with a setting powder and then apply your foundation. Um, it just gives this porcelain look. So I drugged this back out and I started using this to do that light dusting under my foundation. And it works amazingly well for that. And I have already, in fact, my Ulta order should be here tomorrow. I have already repurchased. Um. We have like a whole bag of like samples and gosh, I'm a junkie. Infallible Pro Mats. Um, I finally used this up. This is like something that I used to use. This was my everyday foundation. Um, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful drugstore foundation. Yes, I will repurchase again, but right now I have my expensive luxury foundations along with all of those drugstore foundations that i purchased that are less than ten dollars so it's going to be a while before i need any foundation but this is a great drugstore foundation my milani conceal and perfect yes love it yes i will pre repurchase i already have yeah if you've watched my less than ten dollar foundation tatcha water cream this came in like a little box set um I saw so many good reviews of this on um, YouTube. I didn't care for it. I didn't think it really moisturized my skin. Um, it's just not as heavy as I would like. If you have oily skin um, or if you're like in your 20s and you're not fighting that age, this might be a good moisturizer, but for me, I will not repurchase. Elf Primer Mist. This was crap. I, Elf, I love you, but this did nothing. Nothing. So, no. Um, Kiehl's Micro Blur Skin Perfector. Um, when I first bought this, I used it like a mad woman. I thought it was the best thing ever. And then I got to where I did not like it. I stuck it in my drawer. Um, like six months later, I drug it back out and it just did not work. I don't know what it was. I don't know if my skin changed, but when I first started using this, I was in awe and then it just quit working for me. So I probably won't repurchase that. Um, Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. This makes my eyes water. So it's a good product, but it irritates my eyes for some reason. So no, I will not repurchase. Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. This is the greatest mascara ever invented. Um, I have a ton of like sample size mascaras, so I have no reason to repurchase it. But whenever I go to the drugstore and I need a mascara, this is always the one I get. <clears throat> no Porblem Primer by Touch and Soul. This is pretty good. I don't know that I'll repurchase. Just It says it hides pores and wrinkles. It did. I mean, it was a good primer, but I don't know. It was a good primer. I may repurchase. I may not. I just don't know. <laughs> Um, the Becca First Light Priming Filter, I, I did not care for this. It did not fill my pores. Um, I, it didn't filter my wrinkles. Uh, it didn't help my makeup last. I'm not sure what this really was supposed to have done, except 
smooth my skin a little bit, but no, I will not repurchase. Smashbox Photo Finish Lash Primer. It's a needless step. I don't like eyelash primers. I got this as a sample. I will not repurchase. My Anastasia Beverly Hills <laughs> um, eyebrow pencil. Yes, I loved it. As you can tell, I mean, this is a long pencil when you purchase it. I used the, I don't even know what color it was because <laughs> you can't tell, but this is the Mac Daddy of all eye pencils. Right now I'm using the Mac eye pencil that I got in my um, BoxyCharm. Uh, but yeah, when I need to repurchase one, I will be going back to that one. The Marc Jacobs Gel Eyeliner. It is the bomb. I love this gel eyeliner. But if you go to Ulta, Essence makes a gel eyeliner for $3 that works the exact same. It's like a dupe, I guess. It works the exact same. I will be talking about that Essence Gel Liner in my September favorites, so watch for that one. Marc Jacobs, it's a beautiful eyeliner, but if I can spend $3 for the same thing, I'm going to go with Essence. <laughs> um, all right, that's all out of that bag. So a little sample of the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. I don't know why it got Best of Beauty by Allure, but I was not impressed. I mean, you, you got to be a super foundation to impress me. I got my Martin Jacobs on today, which I love. Becca, sorry, I didn't like you. I will not be buying you. A little sample size of my Urban Decay All Nighter. This is my jam. I have already repurchased. It is always on my vanity. It is the best setting spray. Sometimes I buy drugstore ones. Sometimes I buy other brands, but nothing is as good as the all-nighter. So I always have it available. Remember me talking about the Shea Moisture soap that I used? Um, it's the Coconut and Hibiscus Shea Butter Soap. No other soap, no body wash, nothing else cleanses my body, but this. <laughs> this is the only soap that I will use. I love it. Oh my God. I'm like a product addict. Oh wait. Another uh, sleeping night oil. See, I told y'all I go through these. I love them. Um. This is Youth to the People. It was a kale and green tea spinach vitamins age prevention cleanser. It's hard to tell with little samples like this, but it didn't impress me enough to go purchase it. A Skin and Company Truffle Therapy Face Toner. It was all right, <laughs> but I will not be repurchasing this. I don't even know who makes this. Remington. Have y'all ever used one of these? I get peach fuzz. I take this, get all the peach fuzz off my face. I have to do it like once a week. I always have one of these in my vanity. This one just got a little, it was time to go. Okay, Tatcha Polish Classic Rice Enzyme Powder. Um, this is for normal to dry skin. This, you, it's like a powder that you massage into your skin with water. It exfoliates. It's, I would recommend this if you have sensitive skin. I prefer a stronger exfoliator for my face. Um, it, was a, it was a good product. I just like something a little stronger to exfoliate my face. So if you don't like a strong exfoliator, this Tatcha Polished did work really well. Well, it worked. Not as well as I would like. <laughs> so I will not be repurchasing. Oh, we're getting down to the bottom. All right, here's a little um, travel size of Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I have been using this for about six months. It is the best skincare product if you want to invest any, in any product for your skin, but only one. This is the one. Sunday Riley Good Jeans. 
I have a full size on my vanity. This was just a little travel one. It has lactic acid. It's a lactic acid treatment. Uh, I have seen sunspots and aging spots diminish since I've been using this. So I highly recommend it. I will continue buying probably until Sunday Riley quits making it. Um, I have my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Trooper. This is probably my 10th one. Yes, I will repurchase. I already have one on my vanity. I actually, the one I have on my vanity is almost out too. But this one, this is just the best liquid eyeliner ever. The felt tip, um, this one's kind of worn out, but it's just like the perfect size, the perfect amount of wetness. I have the perfect amount of control. <sighs> Kat Von D, you rock the tattoo liner. Best tattoo liner ever. And um, this was a little sample size of First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothing Priming Moisturizer. I actually really like this. It's a it's a primer and moisturizer in one. Um, will I repurchase or will I will I purchase? I don't know. I liked it, but I probably won't repur. I probably won't go buy it. Oh. We're almost done. We're almost done. <laughs> this was a little um, travel size of the UFO Sunday Riley clarifying face oil. This is the face oil that you saw in my Ulta and Sephora haul. It helps with wrinkles because it's a moisturizing oil, but it fights acne. It is beautiful. It is amazing. Yes, I will repurchase. I have a full size bottle on my vanity. It's awesome. Uh, I have a lot of travel sizes because of girl travels for work. Um, this is the Kat Von D setting powder in translucent. It's the locket setting powder. This is probably one of my favorite setting powders, but I go in between three. Right now, I am totally addicted to the Too Faced Ethereal setting powder, but this one is also really, really good. This one will set your makeup for days. Um, so I probably will, will repurchase. Um, but I think I'll probably use the Too Faced because the Too Faced gives you a little bit of a sheen. And, you know, in the winter, you get kind of dry. I could see me repurchasing this again for the summer. All right. An Urban Decay Single. I mean, I didn't just hit pan, but I was digging. This is in the color Polyester Bride. This Urban Decay Polyester Bride is the best shade for highlighting your brow and your inner corner. It's just perfect. It's a white iridescent with a little glitter, but not so much glitter that you glitter faced. <laughs> it's just, it's amazing. I've already repurchased. It's just, it's just, it's just that good. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, this is the Tarte Liquid Eyeliner. I can't tell anything about it because it's all worn off. But this is their waterproof liquid eyeliner. It's not as good as the Kat Von D. The, the, the applicator is just way too small. Um, let's compare it to the so if you like a really small thin line, you may like the tart, but um I got that and like I got this one in like a gift packet or Maybe a subscription box. I don't remember, but I will not repurchase it. Okay, the Tatcha Violet C Radiance Mask. I mean, I dug every little bit of that. I really did like this. Um, it's a $60 mask. And I loved it, but I have not repurchased it. It's just I've had so many other things I needed to buy. I just could not... I couldn't reasonably spend $60 on a mask when I was restocking on some of my makeup products and other skincare products, but this was a beautiful, beautiful mask. And at some point in my life, you know, my birthday's coming up and Christmas, so this will be an excellent gift. <laughs> I will repurchase because I loved it. I just haven't. Yeah. Um, little sample size of the Tarte Drink of H2O. Hydrating Boost. Um, it's like a moisturizer. 
it was really good. I have others that I like a little more, so I probably won't repurchase, but you know, if it's on one of those Ulta sales or something, I may, um, but it definitely was a nice little moisturizer. <gasps> There is a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> um, this come in a box. I think there were five in the box. This is a hydrating under eye pad uh, by Spa Scriptions. I think I got this at um, TJ Maxx for just like a couple dollars. This was a great under eye mask. It really did moisturize. And that's what I look for in an under eye mask. Like, Pour the moisture into my under eyes, please. <laughs> and this one did a really good job, but I haven't been able to find it since. I could probably look on um, Amazon or something, but it was a really good, if you happen to see this at TJ Maxx, I do recommend it. And the last thing you all saw this in my Ulta Sephora haul, I've already went through it. The Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream. This was a really good moisturizer. I really enjoyed it. Um, but right now, I, I purchased a, I can't think of them, Juice Beauty moisturizer. Um, and I'm loving the Juice Beauty. So if I had not purchased the Juice Beauty before I tried this, I probably would have repurchased this. But the Juice Beauty is just amazing. Um, if y'all could see my, my tape, my desk, it's, it's crazy. So many products. I am such a consumer. <laughs> um, but anyway, those are the things that I have went through. You know, it really, the little sample sizes, you never really know if you like them or not, but the full size products, if you have went through a full size product, you can really tell if that stuff is um, working for you or not. So I went through a ton of full-size products. Let me know if you, some of those that didn't work for me, let me know if you liked them, if you've tried them, or if, you know, if you're addicted to some of the same products I'm addicted to, let me know uh, in the comments below. Also, for the month of October, start watching my videos on a regular basis. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe subscribe <laughs> hit the subscribe button so you know when I post a video at some point in October I'm not going to tell you what video because I'm trying to get y'all to watch them <laughs> I know it's kind of selfish but you know it, girls gotta do what a girl's got to do hit the subscribe button just just hit it I'll wait <laughs> Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, get notified when I post a video because sometime in October I will be doing another giveaway. It's something to do with cart. Not going to tell you. You got to stay tuned to find out. But uh, until then, have a great week.